um, chairman, members of the PTF, and members of the media, uh, good evening to, to you all. Um, some weeks ago, I, uh, I indicated some of the challenges that we were facing with regards to evacuating our nationals in various countries across the world back to Nigeria and uh, gave a date, a target, said it was absolutely important uh, for us to pin down uh, a date and work towards it. And I did say that today uh, we really hoped to start. Um, we gave the date, um, the minimum requirements we were able to put in place and, um, and proposed to an airline, as I pointed out to you the last time, uh, the um, Emirates uh, had a flight that was cancelled a couple of weeks ago uh, because we were not ready uh, to receive that flight and that that was the lowest hanging fruit that we could start with. So they indicated that their flight from Dubai, uh, that they would be able to operate not today but on Wednesday. So by God's grace, uh, on Wednesday, we will start the process of repatriating our uh, nationals from outside the, the, the country. If we had our way, there are about almost 4,000 Nigerians wishing to come back home. If we had our way, we would bring them all back immediately and all at once. But there are various constraints. And the biggest constraint is where to quarantine them, um, you know, the beds. So we've done everything we can to get beds uh, here in Abuja and in Lagos. Uh, in Lagos, we, um, we have uh, now um, about uh, to almost 300 uh, beds available. And I'd like to just take time out to uh, again express our profound gratitude to the governor uh, of Lagos because without <clears throat> his very personal uh, engagement, uh, it would have been even more difficult for us uh, in Lagos. But he's taken time off his very busy schedule and done everything that could possibly be expected of him uh, to help us to secure uh, uh, beds in Lagos and supported the process in other ways. We really cannot thank him and his leadership has been absolutely sublime. So the first flight that we hope by God's grace to have on Wednesday, uh, Emirates, will be to, to Lagos. Then um, we are hoping that um, soon after that, uh, a British Airways flight that is actually coming to Nigeria uh, on Friday to, um, to evacuate some British nationals here in Nigeria. Since it will be coming uh, empty, we've negotiated with uh, the British government for us to fill the plane uh, in London with Nigerians uh, coming back. And again, we would like to express our profound gratitude uh, to the UK High Commission here uh, in uh, Abuja for, uh, for really uh, supporting us and making this uh, possible. So we are hoping that on Friday we will be able to um, evacuate uh, from uh, the UK uh, anything up to um, 300, possibly a bit less Nigerians uh, from the UK. Ideally, we would have liked that flight to be coming to Abuja because we have been able to secure more hotel rooms uh, in Abuja than we have in Lagos, almost a thousand uh, in Abuja. But um, they've let us know that unfortunately that plane cannot come to Abuja, that it's only Lagos. So it's going to be put quite a strain uh, on our capacity uh, in Lagos because in addition to just getting the rooms, uh, the Port Health Authority and the NCDC will have to monitor uh, each and every single one of those uh, evacuees on a regular uh, basis and all that. And of course, the security element uh, has to be in place 
and all the other support services have to be in place. And um, they're not only available for the evacuees. As you can see, as you've listened uh, to uh, the previous speakers, you know, the numbers are going up in our country uh, generally. So a lot of resources, human and material, are being drawn uh, to address the real challenges that we are facing uh, within the country. And we just don't have surplus uh, to spare uh, for the evacuees coming in uh, in such large numbers. So, um, so we have to make do with, uh, with what we, we, we can. And, um, you know, those others out there just have to bear with us. We're really doing everything, stretching it, possibly even beyond our capacity to try and get our people back because we've know, we know how long they've been out there. We know all the challenges uh, they've been facing. And, um, you know, with the U.S., we've also gone ahead with our mission uh, in the U.S. and told them if there are any flights available, um, do a deal with them and try and get them to bring our people back. We are uh, at the same time trying to see what we can with the other airlines that we had made uh, arrangements with, but we cannot wait for anybody because time is really of the essence. So uh, our people in the US uh, are telling us, and they've done a fantastic job, uh, missions in New York, in uh, Washington, and in Atlanta, that uh, Ethiopian Airlines um, does have a, a regular commercial um, you know, program to, uh, uh, you know, out of the U.S. So we are hoping that um, Monday next week, um, we're trying to do a deal with Ethiopian uh, uh, Airlines to also bring back a significant number of, uh, of Nigerians. Um, Airpeace is uh, going out, uh, taking some, uh, has been chartered uh, to, for a medical evacuation of a Nigerian couple here who have uh, chartered the plane to take uh, uh, um, a family member to London. And uh, Airpeace uh, informed us and said that they will have an empty plane coming back from London. And so we're trying to also do a deal with Airpeace to have another uh, UK flight coming in probably uh, on Saturday. You know, these are, of course, you know, very uh, costly uh, endeavors. And we know also the, the real financial challenges that a lot of uh, our compatriots, brothers and sisters, you know, are facing. And uh, so the government uh, is, uh, and with the kind uh, support of the chairman of the PTF, um, engaging with the uh, emergency management agency, NEMA, uh, to, to see to what extent uh, the government can also subsidize and make the financial burden that, uh, uh, that uh, these evacuees have to face to make it as light uh, as possible. So we're working, you know, really over time and trying to source funds from wherever we can find it because they really are scarce uh, to also help uh, to support uh, 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 these compatriots of ours. And, um, you know, I'm getting messages all the time from different parts of the world of Nigerians waiting to be evacuated. Uh, as I said, if we had our way, we would evacuate everybody yesterday. But, you know, there are these real uh, capacity issues. And um, we're even driving our medical people crazy. Uh, NCDC is telling us that, look, you know, there's a limit to what we can cope with, you know. So we're trying very hard to work uh, within those limits. China, of course, uh, is a huge crisis, and we're trying to see if we can get, uh, to get a plane quickly to go and also evacuate. There's a large number of our people there uh, who have additional challenges, and, um, you know, so we're also trying to uh, get out there to, to, to bring them back. Um, we would like, ideally, to do that as quickly as possible. It hasn't been as easy in terms of sourcing a plane for that, but, um, but we're hoping to have uh, an agreement with one of the carriers and maybe by, you know, within a week, uh, two weeks uh, to be able to also uh, move into uh, China and bring our people back there. South Africa, there are also our people waiting uh, in India, in France, you know, uh, 4,000 hours. So I think that 
We, we have to be patient. Uh, it's not easy, but we're doing everything possible to start uh, getting uh, our people back. But for us, it was always very important for that first evacuation, and by God's grace, we'll have that on, uh, on Wednesday. Thank you.